A new pain medication has hit the market. It's called Expirel, and doctors say it can provide sustained pain relief for post-surgery patients far longer than any other drug currently available. Dr. Richard Baxter, a board-certified plastic surgeon from Seattle, Washington, says Expirel is unique because of its long-lasting numbing agent. It's placed in the wound at the time of surgery and released slowly into the body over three days. The benefit is really that there's less reliance on narcotic pain medications. They don't have to take as many pain pills because they're not feeling as much pain to begin with. Expirel was approved late last year by the Food and Drug Administration. It combines an FDA-approved drug and an FDA-approved drug delivery technology. Dr. Dan Del Vecchio, a board-certified plastic surgeon, says Expirel combines liposome, which is used to deliver chemotherapy, and Marcaine, which is commonly injected into surgical wounds to reduce pain. So we're just combining two drugs that have been around for a very long time with good safety profiles and putting them together in order to change their extended time release behavior. Dr. Brett Snyder, a board-certified plastic surgeon, says besides long-lasting pain relief, Expirel means an increase in the patient's comfort and better outcomes. By using a topical, sustained release, local anesthetic, in other words, something that you put into the surgical wound that will reduce post-operative pain and therefore reduce the use of post-operative narcotics will lead to quicker and better results. For the past 20 to 30 years, we haven't made many advances in post-operative pain management. We treat our patients in the post-operative period mainly with narcotics. In the recovery room, we'll give them morphine or fentanyl, which is an intravenous narcotic. And then at home, we'll prescribe them codeine or Percocet. The problem with opioids or narcotics is they cause side effects. In young patients, they cause nausea and vomiting. In elderly patients, they can cause urinary retention and respiratory depression. Del Vecchio says when you look at hospital stays for patients who have received narcotics and had an adverse side effect, the average increase in a patient's hospital cost is about $5,000. So not only is it a patient safety issue, it's an economic issue. Well, I just think this is a real advantage for patients. I know if I were thinking about going into surgery, uh, the idea of not having to experience the, the pain, at least to the same degree, uh, would be uh, a very appealing concept. What that means for plastic surgery, we don't know. But there is obviously potential to look at our breast augmentation patients, our abdominoplasty patients. These are the patients who have significant pain in the post-operative period and, and who would benefit from either an earlier discharge or uh, their first evening pain-free. Carolyn Grimes, The Plastic Surgery Channel.